Hello and welcome to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, The Portion of the Wicked, June 20th. Behold, all souls are mine, as the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Ezekiel 18 verse 4 While life is the inheritance of the righteous, death is the portion of the wicked. The soul that sinneth, it shall die, an everlasting death, a death that will last for ever, from which there will be no hope of a resurrection, and then the wrath of God will be appeased. It was a marvel to me that Satan could succeed so well in making men believe that the words of God, the soul that sinneth, it shall die, mean that the soul that sinneth, it shall not die, but live eternally in misery. Said the angel, Life is life, whether it is in pain or happiness. Death is without pain, without joy, without hatred. Christ endured an agonizing death under the most humiliating circumstances that we might have life. He gave up his precious life that he might vanquish death. But he rose from the tomb and the myriads of angels who came to behold him take up the life he had laid down heard his words of triumphant joy as he stood above Joseph's rent sepulchre, proclaiming, I am the resurrection and the life. John 11.25 The question, if a man die, shall he live again, has been answered. By bearing the penalty of sin, by going down into the grave, Christ has brightened the tomb for all who die in faith. God in human form has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. In dying, Christ secured eternal life for all who believe in him. In dying, he condemned the originator of sin and disloyalty to suffer the penalty of sin, eternal death. The possessor and giver of eternal life, Christ was the only one who could conquer death. He is our Redeemer. Christ is life itself. He who passed through death to destroy him that had the power of death is the source of all vitality. There is balm in Gilead, and a physician there. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.